Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Los Angeles Dodgers franchise, and today we are in Game 5. As you see, we lost the series against the Colorado Rockies. They won two out of the three games, but we are here in Arizona. We won the first game, but now we are in Julio Urias' debut in the MLB against the Arizona Cardinals. Away from home, away from home. I wish he would have got his uh, debut in Dodger Stadium, but nonetheless, this is our youngster. This is our most prized possession in the farm system right now, and he's actually on the farm system. No, no longer he is in the majors and he is gonna have to face this tough Arizona offense you know in real life they don't have a very good record but you know they can hit the ball very well when they get the hits together like they can we'll be facing Archie Bradley today a very good young pitcher for them as well you see our lineup once again today Pui Crawford Seeker Gonzalez Turner Peterson Utley Grandal and then Urias on the mound it is time to get this thing underway two down already in the top of the first Seeger is up he's gonna ground out on the first day it's a diving play by Goldschmidt gonna flip it to first, but Seeger beats that one out. Good play by Goldschmidt there. Good hustle by Seeger. You'll see this once again. I'm surprised Goldschmidt actually got to that ball. A diving stop. And then he has to get up and he has to wait for the pitcher, and that's really what cost him the out right there. And Seeger beats it out as Bradley's a bit late to the bag. But two down. Here's Adrian Gonzalez. Gonna pop up that first pitch high and away. And the catcher's gonna be under it. And they get through the side easily. But it is time for Julio Urias. 6'2, 205 pounds, and uh, more importantly, only 20 years old. He is a lefty and he's going to come in and he's hopefully going to be one of our future great players. Hoping for that, but he has to start out and make his debut. Here's the first batter he faces and the first pitch is a strike. Going to have to keep that ball as first major league strike. Oh, one pitch now to Segura. Segura's going to just bounce that one in front of the plate. Urias going to pick that one up, take him himself, and he gets the first out of his MOB career. Now 3-0 to Paul Goldschmidt. There's a strike on the outside corner. You see Goldschmidt did not like that. He was already heading off to first base and he is confused. Urias is going to take that call. 3-1 pitch now. That's going to fly the right field and Urias is glad that that was called a strike instead of walking Goldschmidt gets him out and goes 1-2-3 here in his first inning of work now 2-2 two, two in the bottom of the second to AJ Pollock he gives a fastball high and in and that is Urias's first major league strikeout as you see right there that little highlight of his first strikeout gonna have to keep that ball as well he's got two balls to keep so far see Pollock was not happy about the call but it was strike three now here's Jake Lamb with two down here comes a pitch that is inside and it hits Lamb you see Urias is trying to work on his control a little bit now you know he's nervous oh oh pitch now the next batter that's gonna be lined in the right field so now here is some trouble for Urias first and second two down he's gonna have to get out of this one but 3-0 pitch to the next batter is way high that is ball four once again struggling with his control now base is loaded two down but is the pitcher one two pitch to Archie Bradley he's gonna get a curveball dribble this one to Seager Seager's got the bare hand what a play by Seager didn't know if he needed to but he gets the out nonetheless and Urias gets away from the jam now full count in the top of the third two down for Yasiel Puig he's gonna get a high fastball he drives that one to center field that one is deep but the center field is chasing after it he can't quite make the play that bounce is up off the wall. Puig's rounding second. He's heading for third, and he's going to be in the third four stand-up triple with two down. Nice job by Puig there, the leadoff man, but 0-2 pitch to Carl Crawford. Lines in the left field, gets by the third baseman, Jake Lamb, and that is going to be the first round of the day, getting Urias some run support there. one to nothing Dodgers. Good job by Crawford and Puig with two down, getting us a run. You see it barely got by Jake Lamb at third base. A line shot. That's, what, that's why they call it the hot corner, but that is going to be an RBI single by Carl Crawford. And you see Puig rounding or er, getting home to the plate. Now 2 0 pitch to Seeger. He's going to line that one in the right field. A nice hit there. And that's going to make it first and second as they have a wild throw into the infield. Uh, first and second, two down for Gonzalez once again. He's going to get a curveball. He's only going to dribble it to short. And with his whole seven speed, is going to be thrown out at first base. Now we'll retire the side. But we got to run. Top of the fourth now, two down for Chase Utley. He's going to hit that one right back up the middle. That's going to get away from the second baseman. That's going to be a single at the middle for Utley to get us started. Maybe a two out once again 3-0 pitch to Grandal now that's going to be a fastball low and inside that's going to be ball four and guess who's up to the plate now with first and second 0-2 pitch Urias he's going to line that one in the center field his first major league base hit and that's going to send Utley home maybe I had a little bit of trouble there with the base running but that is an RBI single nonetheless even though Grandal got thrown out at third I just wanted to hold it long enough where Utley rounded third base and came home and left Grandal at second but did not work out but nonetheless first major league hit gonna have to keep that ball as well for Urias, but here he lets up a line drive single up the middle. 
for a single and with one out one two pitch to Jake Lamb he's going to ground that one the second flip onto shortstop Seager who throws it way over Gonzalez's head and we're lucky that they didn't go out of play but there's a man on first should have been a double play out of the ending we'll have to see if that comes to cost them 1-0 pitch now to the next batter Wellington Castillo that's going to be grounded to Utley who makes the play and that would have no harm on Urias's day 1-2 pitch now to, C or to Puig he's going to swing at a ball in the dirt good block Tripled from, a little, tripled from him a little bit, but he made the play nonetheless. Here's the next batter up, going to line that one right back up the middle. Once again, you're going to have to get out of the way here in the fifth inning, I do believe. A wild throw into the infield. Once again, we are looking kind of sloppy here early in the year. Here is Archie Bradley going to lay that bunt down. Going to try to throw the second, though, quick. We make the play there on the first, not quite in time, but we get the lead runner. Good play by Gonzalez there. And you see Phil Gosselin actually got her on the slide. He will be shaken up, and they will have to bring in a new player to play in this game for him but here is the two out zero zero hanging curveball and that was crushed and that is the one mistake your guess has made today and they take advantage of it Tomas hits that one to the left field and gone two run shot to tie the game up at two just hung that one with Urias. Didn't want it there at all when I was trying to pitch it. But, you know, Urias is struggling with his control a little bit here today. But it's kind of expected his first major league debut. Hopefully he can fix that. But there's a two-run, 392-foot home run for Tomas' his first of the year. He's got that hanging pitch, and he took advantage of it. As you see, hung that one right at the belt, and that was good gone that's gonna tie it up at two at the end of the fifth with the two run shot but five innings two runs that is a fantastic day so far for Urias hopefully to get one more inning out of him I don't want to raise his pitch count so high because it is his first start but let's try to give him the win today top of the six Gonzalez is gonna hit that one in the left center he's gonna round first and go into second with that seven speed that's still seven speed for him Jeez, that is slow but he gets the double there nonetheless one out oh two pitch to Jock Peterson now he's gonna locate this one and he's gonna hit it back up the the middle that's going to be an RBI are we going to send Gonzalez with seven speed we are the throw to the play he is so slow should have been in there easy way sliding and he's safe and Peterson takes second on the play and now Archie Bradley is out of the game he goes five and a third pitched all right had three earned runs he's responsible for that runner on second base but he still pitched a very good game against his Dodgers offense but now we're trying to take advantage of this one two pitch to Utley he's going to line that one in the second and that's going to get down but thrown out at first but moves the run to the third base one two pitch now Grandal trying to get this big run in for the Dodgers that's gonna be strike three on the outside corner good pitch and that will retire the side and we head to the bottom of the sixth inning 3-2 pitch, 2 down for Jake Lamb now. He's going to swing at that one, dribbles it down the third baseline. Grandal comes up throwing and gets the out, and that will be Urias's day. Six innings, two uh, earned runs on only four hits. He had a great day, one walk, one K. He had one hit by pitch as well. Um, very good day for his Major League debut. Now, hopefully we can give him the win, but we're going to have to hope our bullpen, which is kind of shaky at times, can get the win. As you see, Scott Van Slyke is pinching just to confirm that Urias is out. Can Van Slyke do us a job, though? He is. That's a single right up the middle good job by Vance like pinch hitting and good day by Urias on the mound and at the plate with the RBI as well now here is one out a 0-0 count for Carl, for Carl Crawford he's gonna bunt that one down the third base side and no throw beautiful bunt way to get on base Crawford first and second 2-1 count to Seager he's gonna line that one to first base but right at Goldschmidt and that is gonna be an out and that is a tough out a one pitch now to Gonzalez he's gonna dribble that one down the third base line fielded by Lamb on the first to Goldschmidt and they get out of the inning unscathed Full count now. Nobody out. That's strike three right there. I believe Yamai Garcia is in for this. No, Chris Hatcher is actually in for relief. And he is going to do a job. One-two pitch. He's going to strike the man out once again. He is doing a very good job. Now we bring in Luis Avalon. And that is a good inning by the bullpen. Hopefully they can keep this up as there's a fly out to center and we get through an easy seventh inning. Good job by the pen. You see a starter comparison. Six innings to five and a third. Two runs to three. Four hits to eight. Two walks to two. And then he beat him in strikeouts. Two. Two to one, but I wasn't expecting a lot of strikeouts out of Urias today. Hopefully, more in the future. But let's lead off this inning with the one out with Jock Peterson single at the middle. Try to get an insurance run here. Nice job by Jock there. Now, full count, two down for Grandal. The runner is stealing, but Grandal is going to fly that one to left field. And that one should be caught. And that'll be end of the inning. Heading to the bottom of the eighth now. Gonna have to bring in Pedro Baez, I do believe, is in. But one, two pitch. It's gonna ground to Seeger. Seeger takes his time with it. And Segura beats that one out. I hate in this game when they take so long. No, Nehemiah Garcia is in. Excuse me for that. But I hate when they take so long to throw it. But here is a nice play, but brings Seeger off the bag, and he's just gonna have to get the out at first. Hopefully that doesn't cost us. Here's a pitch 3-0. Just gonna lock Goldschmidt. I was trying to pitch away from Goldschmidt anyway. 
That's going to bring first and second, all because of the bad throw and because of the time took by Seeger. But that is going to be a big strikeout on AJ Pollock, who gets out or who gets struck out on three straight pitches and we bring in Pedro Baez with two down first and second can we get out of the inning now here comes the pitch he's gonna dribble that one up the middle diving play by Seeger keeps in the infield wanted to go home with it accidentally push circle to go to first and the run scores that was my fault after their diving play Seeger makes up for his play earlier with a diving stop but I can't quite make the play as you see we strike out Jake Lamb there but they tie it up here in the bottom of the eighth to go to the top of the ninth inning Seeger with a great diving play but wasn't enough as he tried to get the out at first, but the runner scored with a smart base running play. Kike Hernandez now trying to start on top of the ninth. He's going to get a pitch. He's going to hit this one to the left center gap. Kike Hernandez fresh off the bench. The first pitch lined in left center. He's going to get a leadoff double in the top of the ninth inning. Your guys can no longer get the win, but hopefully us as a team can get the win. 1-1 one, one pitch now to Yasiel Puig. He gets fooled with a slider there. He was swinging at that one. Did not locate that one well, but 1-2. Fool him once. Shame on you. Fool him twice. You aren't going to do that. Yasiel Puig is going to get an RBI single right up the middle and he scores Kike Hernandez here in the top of the ninth and you see Yasiel Puig is hype you know in real life they just trade rumors with them he's ready to play here in the franchise in year two. O2 oh, pitch now to Gonzalez he's gonna just pop that one up not a very good day besides that double for Gonzalez but we have a 3-2 lead now heading into the bottom of the ninth thanks to Puig and Kike Hernandez Jansen's had two games both saves one strikeout and two innings of work let's see if he can improve upon that today here's a 2-2 pitch now to Victor Martinez who hits that to deep center field that one's back, and if this was a regular stadium, that one is gone, but it's up off the wall. That is going to be a leadoff double for Victor Martinez, and we are in trouble early here in the bottom of the ninth. Can we get out of this one? Help us, Kenley Jansen. Victor Martinez is actually going to be pinch run for by Chris Owings, who is out there. He's much quicker, and a single will score. Mo one pitch to the next batter now. Can be hit in the right field. Good play by Puig, though, coming up and getting that one. He would have gunned the man at third. Look at that arm, and here we are with one out, runner on second, pinch hitter Michael Perez. Kenley Jansen get him down and can we get two more outs unscathed now one two pitch to Michael Perez a good pitch can be flied in the left field in the foul territory Crawford's gonna be under that one he's gonna make the play two down can Kenley Jansen get out of this one after Victor Martinez's very long double here comes Gene Segura he scored a run on a great base running play earlier now can he come through a full count two down it's gonna be fouled and we're gonna have to do it again full count two down 22nd pitch of the inning popped up in the foul territory. Gonzalez getting over runs in the first base coach, but nonetheless makes the play and we get a win. And we're going to prove the three and two on the year. Just need to keep going on a win streak or something here in the early months. We did that um, last year in the first year of the, of the franchise, and it actually carried us a long way. We went on a win streak. It was like a 12 game win streak there in the early first two. Uh, first two months and it's really helped us in the long run and I'm trying to get to back back to that once again good job by Jansen shutting the door and we come away with a victory today in Arizona and we take the first two games in the series you see Puig had a great day with that triple and then he had an RBI in the top of the ninth and we get the four to three lead Pedro Baez gets the win he left one hit and he had one strikeout but that is the game we take the lead or we take the win in Arizona and hoping to improve upon that hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give it a like and as always I'm out peace Shut the door out of the pen. Yeah, it's nice to have someone.